So it's been alleged that the Florida Maquis puts out information that he doesn't agree with simply to get views. Or he puts out false information as part of psychological operation to do training. I put out information to do psychological operations to do training, absolutely. Is it false? No. Is it things I don't believe? No. Not at all. And if anybody out there thinks this channel just says things to get views, clearly it would have been much easier just to bow the knee with the rest of you to his high holy eminence in Washington, D.C., and then uh, talk about the Holy Prophet Q. That probably would have 100,000 subscribers by now and, you know, a lot more views. But I spoke the truth, and it was to my detriment for a long time. This channel only had a few thousand subscribers. It's taken a lot of hard work and a lot of effort to slowly build it organically. Had no idea things were going to take off with the Fitzgerald. No idea this issue with the... Uh, preppers getting so triggered because of a map with color codes on it would do what it did. And oddly enough, you know, I did six or seven videos that had almost literally the exact same title, exact same thumbnail. Only one took off. So it's sometimes there's no rhyme and reason to it. Same thing with the fits. You know, it had one that just absolutely skyrocketed and it was three days after the event and I had done two or three videos prior to it. Um, that really didn't get that much attention. And then the issue with the uh, Hawaii missile attack thing, fake missile attack, whatever. Had no idea, no clue that they were going to get the attention that they did. So anyway, just to put everything to rest, today I'm going to do a video that should piss literally everyone off. It should piss off the folks on the left, the anti-gunners, and it's going to piss off the pro-gunners too, because I'm going to speak of things in ways that they don't like hearing about it. And it triggers their cognitive dissonance. You see, we'll get to this oath of an office enlistment here in a minute. You see, this is the plan here from the air. Put forth by preppers to be the uh, way to do security for weapons, militia weapons. And, and make no doubt about it, you are militia. I'm all for the militia. I'm all for people being armed. I just want those who have decided that they are going to step up and take responsibility for the security and the safety of this country, not themselves, to do so in a responsible, organized fashion with training. And I know there's quite a few of you out there that do. But what you don't get is there's a whole lot more that don't. That just have more money than sense and have turned their basements and back rooms into completely unsecured armories full of weapons and ammunition just ripe for the taking. That in a time of struggle, in a time where there wasn't the very tenuous infrastructure that we rely on now that could be exposed. And make no doubt, doubt about it, their, your local sheriff's office has nothing to do with the militia. Those are two entirely different entities. And I'm going to try to delineate that in this video. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state? Absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic plan. You see, we have well-regulated forces answerable to the state, answerable to the governor. And if you want to be a militia, fantastic. Would love to have you. You will answer to the local National Guard authorities. And you will conduct training as per their direction. And you will secure your weapons and your equipment as per military direction. Because that's what's provided for in the Constitution. The Second Militia Act of 1792. 
conscripted every free, able-bodied male. And you would you were required. It wasn't an option. You were required to have a weapon. And the ability to affect it with ammunition and take care of it at a knapsack and all this stuff. All for it. I'm absolutely all for it. But you're not going to just leave the crap laying around in your backyard, in your shed, in your basement. It's ridiculous. And I know, and look, like I said, to you, to you guys out there listening right now who don't, who have active operational plans for security that don't rely on just you and your ability to shoot, then this isn't directed at you. But the one thing I will say to you is that you are completely deluded if you think that the way you do things is the way all gun owners do things. It isn't. In fact, the vast majority of gun owners don't do any real militia training, have no idea about operational security. And I will say this, and here's where everybody's going to get pissed off on the right. You don't get to be, as a member of the militia, the guy who gets to get on his Facebook profile every eight years and go from patriot to seditionist, treasonous terrorist. Uh Uh-uh. Sorry. If you defend the country, you defend the country, regardless of who's in Washington, D.C., and you can yammer all and on and on about the Democrats and liberals. Uh-uh. Sorry. If you want to be able to do that, no problem. Turn in your weapons. Now. If you want to do that, if you want to talk about uh, every eight years uh, overthrowing Washington, D.C., no. Sorry. That is not how a militia works. You defend the country regardless of who's in charge. Oath of enlistment. This is what the whole bullshit with the Fitzgerald was. Pissed me off so bad. Was that there was this allegation that it was the Obama Navy that was uh, responsible for that. All of the big names, Michael Savage being one of them who was almost ready to you know, launch a real investigation into it, all he wanted to do was pick up a club and hit the last administration. Didn't give a rat's ass about the truth. As if military members, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, Coast Guard, we get up one day and say, you know what? Gosh, I was doing my job so good, but you know, we elected a new president last night. I don't agree with him, so I'm just going to screw off. I, we're not going to do, we're not going to conduct training today the way we conducted training last week or last month or last year. That's ridiculous. And that's what you get when you have civilians who are pretending to be military. Who don't do any real training at all. Who don't have any clue about operational security, about esprit de corps, about personal discipline, about humility. And believe me, anyone who's ever picked up a weapon and been part of an operational group that's went out and seen losses and seen mistakes made and seen people die because of it, you get real humble in your abilities real fast. And that's how I can tell a lot of people who've come to my channel have never once served in a forward operating environment. Because if they had, they wouldn't be yammering on and on and on about how I'm good for 300 kills from my vantage point here out in the middle of the hills. Ridiculous silliness and stupidity. If you can do it for your kids and you can do it for your trash... You can definitely do it for your home, and that would be my suggestion. If you want to be part of the militia and you want to be part of the military and you want to, you know, talk about militia, then great. I'll say it again. Fantastic. Love to have you. But if you have more than one personal weapon for each adult in the household, there's going to be a plan for you to secure it. And I mean a real military plan. Eight foot fence around your home with bolt locks 
and somebody awake at that residence 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year with training in security, depending on what you have. And you will announce yourself as a member of the militia. Otherwise, you're just a heavily armed terrorist organization. Every eight years ready to overthrow the government. And a security risk. So that should do it. That should piss off the left because I'm pro-gun. And that should piss off the right because I said that there should be some kind of level of answerability and authority and training. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, left's pissed off, right's pissed off. There, that should do it. So there was the goal. So anyway, I hope that clears up anybody's misconceptions about my uh, wanting to keep everybody happy and just putting out videos that I think people are going to like. So have a great day. Like, share, subscribe.